Hello people. Hola, aloha, ciao, salut, mihao, namaste, ohayo, ya komasimo. Zdrasuje, privit, buna, djindu presia stok. Hello. Sin ciao, yo vos yo tere, salwa lekom, sasia ka, marhaban, merhaba. Welcome everyone for those of you who don't know who I am. My name is Brunel. Welcome. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just take my thing. Yeah, that's sorry. Just trying to make sure I don't have anything showing. Well, you wouldn't want to see anything on my teeth now, would you? I'm being very polite here. I had a cookie. <laughs> anyway, so it is a collaboration of Makeup Revolution and Tammy Clark. She's a UK-based um, uh, YouTuber. And she has worked with them before. And she does lots of uh, Makeup Revolution stuff. Uh, it is the second collaboration. I did not get the original uh, Tammy collaboration that she did. Nothing to do with not wanting to support her or um, the colours themselves. I actually did like the colours. But unfortunately, the way that the palette was set up, I don't like slim, long columns of uh, eyeshadows the way that it is set up. Usually, I end up putting my brush into more than one colour shade. Um, and also, aesthetically, I can't explain it, but with my eyes and when I look at it, it really does mess them up and, and it causes issues for me. So I don't actually do it, which is why the reason why I've only ever bought one, one Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I won't buy the big ones because of uh, the way that they're set up. So it's not just unique to her palette. Um, it's just the way it is. But uh, I've seen this new palette, which is uh, the Carnival palette, basically. Um, and it's made up of lovely, bright Carnival shades. If you're not into bright shades or you don't want any bright shades whatsoever, although you can actually work with some of these, but if you're not into bright shades and you want to keep your neutrals, uh, move on. This is definitely not the palette for you. However, if you want to you know, ingest a little bit of color into, or a lot of color, if I look at it, a little bit of color <laughs> into your eyeshadow uh, looks, then you want to try something different, then of course you can go for this. This is cruelty free, it is vegan as well. Um, and comes in 18 shades with a mixture of, of mattes and shimmers um, and also uh, what else it costs is £10 so that's enough about the palette itself now this palette arrived on about 10 minutes ago <clears throat> I've put the cover on this to make sure that you guys don't get a reflection and uh, they've got names the eyeshadows have got names on them and they've got that plastic fair cover that you normally have and on a plastic cover more often than not i don't keep it i chuck it away or lose it uh, but for the purpose of it i'm going to keep to it now uh, here so you kind of know uh, uh which colors i'm using i have no idea what i'm going to do just yet in instinctive instinctively i want to try purples look at this here this has been damaged it arrived like this it was all crushed up it's actually a black shade that's here called uh, jab jab um and unfortunately it is damaged so i can't use that i had to take it off because otherwise i wouldn't be able to hold it up like this for you guys to be able to see the colors i shall give you the names of the colors that i am using so when you refer back to the palette you'll be able to see which colors and which shades i have used if you want a swatches um video i am going to upload a separate one i do that separately now just because some people just want to see the swatches and they're not interested in you know somebody chatting and doing a tutorial so um either before this video goes uploaded or straight after the swatches video will be there for your convenience this is the morphe e23 brush um and i am going to go with uh spice island which was the orange first shade oh tapping it three times you do get a lot of color payoff not too much fallout uh oh okay there's enough shade there and just to let you know as a base i've used the nars uh soft matte concealer already i use that all the time okay so there's pigment but i want it to be a lot more pigmented so i'm dabbing that in again to see if it's buildable yeah it is a buildable so i'm not going to complain not bad at all right happy so far with it i've changed my mind i'm not going to go for trini which is a red one i'm actually changing my mind i'm going for the purples out because i want to use that green as well to see what it's like sue me sue me sue me okay so i'm going for pink pamphlet Pink pamphlet, I'm just dabbing it in. Oh, okay, you have to be gentle with it. You have to be mindful of the brush. The brush that I'm using is a Makeup Addiction Tapered Blender brush. And because of that, is that the, the actual bristles are a bit more rough. And so you pick up a bit more and a bit more fallout. So I'm going to just take that a bit lower, just above my crease line. 
and it is very pigmented really really well pigmented far so good but a couple of things we're mindful of as you actually start building colors on top of each other you need to obviously make sure that you blend it really well otherwise you can have a build up of uh, uh, some of the powders in your crease line especially if you've got really really um, prominent eyes where the, in the socket is really creased up like mine do you really have to blend it in and also you have to be mindful of the bristles the type of bristles that you have on your brush if you've got one where like the last brush I used where it's a bit more rough then unfortunately what it will do is you have to be super extra gentle when it comes to getting trying to get the product off of um you know you when you're dabbing the brush in otherwise you really are going to end up digging in and causing more damage um so um and the way to explain that for you is hopefully you'll be able to see what i mean by um the brushes so this is the color that i used initially here and um, hopefully you can see that so you can see hardly anything but look at this brush this one here that i've now used because of the uh, texture of the, the bristles, it's a lot rougher. You can see the, uh, the difference on uh, on that. So hopefully you'll be able to pick that up. I'll kind of move it around so maybe you can pick that up. Uh, bring it back, make sure that it focuses. Um, so that's what I mean. So hopefully that's visible here. But if not, then take my word for it. Um, okay, so moving on to the next one. I'm going to go to girlies, which is uh, on, in the corner, the purple in the corner. This one here girly girly right so let's try that two taps Whew. okay let's see right, I'm just gonna try and pack that in first in my crease line Ooh. oh yeah really really pigmented i'm going to pack that on the outer corner of the eye as well as in my crease line and then blend it gently look at the intensity can you see the intensity of the color it's really nice to just pack it in really really good color no trouble whatsoever so i'm going to move on to the first of the shimmer shades and i'm going to try it with my finger because i find that so far a lot of the makeup revolution the eyeshadow palettes especially the shimmers work really well with fingers but we shall try that first um so i'm going to go for ooh, destiny which is a dark purple and i'm going to apply that all over my lid and just swirling my finger on it and and just trying to see i mean there's a little bit of shimmer but it's not as intense as the others so i don't know if i might end up appearing a bit matte but let's try it it is a beautiful shade but i think it's going to need a brush actually just trying that Yeah, I think this will work better with a brush. So let's try it with a dry brush first and see. Certainly do pick up quite a lot of product. Much better with a brush. So unusually, under normal circumstances, the finger is really good. But in this instance, you can clearly see it's a lot better with a brush. works really well with a wet brush actually a little bit better but just slightly wet not too saturated and also when you do actually apply it i found that it works better and you get more color payoff if you sort of cause a little bit of friction on the eyelid uh, but be gentle of course we're talking about your eyes here and just drag it along and you will see uh, you will be able to see more color if you just try and, try and dab it in place it doesn't quite work that way so i'm just going back in with girlies on the outer corners of the eye to just try and blend everything in Okay, so I'm going to go in with the one I'm most nervous about. I'm not sure if this is going to work at all. I'm going to go for the uh, for the green shade, the shimmer green shade called Greens. Um, and we'll see if, if that one works. 
the only thing is i've got a little bit of um the black shade which uh, as i said when damaged it went over the eyeshadow palette so i am trying to get that off so i don't end up with black in my eye um so i'm just gonna use my finger and just put that just at the center of the eye and hopefully this will work out if it doesn't well it any it doesn't all right just want to try some of these colors um whew, okay oh oh yeah that is a beautiful combination <gasps> almost like a duochrome effect it is yeah i'm a happy bunny i'm just wondering why my think i heard my camera making some noises my camera is feeling it it's um playing up a little bit so i'm hoping that this comes out okay i have a good feeling about this one so cross fingers i'm going back in with uh, the original first color that i use spiced uh island i think it was spiced island and i'm just going to just go back to the top because i don't i do want that orange to show a little bit more but i'm just being really really gentle just trying to intensify that orange a little bit Alrighty, I am back in for you eagle eyed people. Yes, that's right. I've got powder all over my face. Uh, it's just a thing that I have to do. When I do the bottom end of my eyes, I like to make sure that I've done all my contours and so on because I kind of use my highlighting as a way of sharpening up the lines and the corners because they're usually kind of messy. I, I do it that way. It's just, just a purple, uh, personal preference. So if you are interested, underneath my eyes, the concealer I use to highlight is the Too Faced Concealer in the color Chestnut. And the powder I've got on my face here is uh, is the Sasha Buttercup uh, yellow powder. Um, underneath the contour that I've used to darken um, to use for the contour was the Sleek Life Proof Concealer in the color Espresso, I do believe. And then underneath that, just to sharpen the contour a little bit, I've got the Laura Mercier uh, powder in medium deep, which is nearly finished. Oh well, actually, it's really finished. I have to kind of like keep shaking it, so I need to order one quick because it is a brilliant powder and yes yeah, so that's so far that's what i've got on my eyes so on my face i should say so going underneath i'm trying to decide what i'm going to go for and i just think i'm going to have some blue and purple underneath um yeah okay i'm going to go back with girlies um and then i'll move on to uh, a blue just on the closest part of the eyes i'm using the zohiva probably not the right brush to use but zohiva uh lux shader brush um and I'm just tapping into girlies, which is uh, seems to be my favourite shade out the whole lot. I'm not surprised that it's purple. And I'll just continue that and just apply that underneath. Final shade I'm going to be using is the colour called navy because it is a navy. Surprise, surprise. And I'm just using the last brush I used, which was the Morphe br uh, brush. I uh, don't think I named it earlier. But it's the one I use for girlies initially. Um, there isn't a name for it, so I just wanted their standard brushes. But it is a somewhat pointed. So I'm just going to use that pointed end and just try and keep the navy shade as close to my waterline as possible. I am nearly done. I'm going to go and finish off the rest of my face off camera, put lipstick on. I'll let you know which lipstick combination I use. I'm not too sure yet uh, what I'm going to use. I think I'll try and keep it as nude as, a <clears throat> where's my voice going? As nude as a possible. Um, so because there's a lot happening at the top end um, and yeah, and dust off my face and so on. So I'll let you know what I've used on my face. But the last shade I'm going to use on the inner corner is to bring things up a little bit, brighten things up a bit. And that's going to be the color Calypso, which is this one here. So that is Calypso here. And just to reiterate the colors that I have used, the first color I used was this one, which was uh, Spice Island. Then I was initially going to use the red shade, but I didn't bother using that. So I moved on to this shade here, which is Pink, uh, pink Panther, Pink Panther that I used. Um, I'll put it at an angle so you can see and after I use pink pamper I then moved on to this shade here which is girly which is I, I love I, everything else here and then after girly then oh, as I applied the biggest shade I applied all over my lid was this one here uh, which was uh, destiny um, yeah destiny and then I then took a little bit of the green here which is called green so with a, a Z 
and place that in the middle of the eye and the center of my eyelid um, and then to go underneath my eyes again I went back to um, to girlies and then I then had a bit of a palm, um, navy as well that I then put on uh, close to the waterline and that was it and I'm gonna finish off this one on the inner corners of the eye so I shall see you guys very shortly with my face all done hopefully it looks decent all right, people, this is my face all done. Just a quick run through of what I've got on my face that I haven't mentioned already. Foundation was actually the uh, Lancome Teint, uh, Teint Idol Ultra Nude uh, in the color number 10. Um, and then what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, as to warm up and to use a bit of bronzer and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills of bronzer in the color mahogany. Um, and on my lips is a lipstick combination of the two. I've got this one here, which is the uh, Burberry Velvet Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick in a color uh, shade number 57, which is Black Cherry. Love it on the outside. Did not line my lips with a pencil. And on the inner bit is the uh, Jeffree Star li Liquid Lipstick in a uh, color Celebrity uh, something, Celebrity Skin. Um, and I'll put that on the inner bit of the, uh, the lip. And the lip gloss is part of a duo, which is the Kiko uh, Double Wear, um, Double Touch, sorry, Double Wear, that's, um, I've forgotten what that is anyway, that's the Lauder, isn't it? So it's Kiko uh, Double Touch um, uh, lip, uh, Lipsticks, where you've got the lip colour and then you've also got the gloss. I love the glosses on these, they don't build up at all, they don't get give you that white line, they start to stay super glossy. Um, and they make your lips look very juicy, as you can see now. <laughs> okay, so that's that. Anyway, so, oh yeah, and I also use a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep as well to kind of like buff a thing into my face. And this is the finished look, and I'm just checking in the monitor there. So, um, yeah, would I recommend this palette itself? Absolutely. It is well pigmented. Um, I cannot complain with it, with its performance on the eyes. At the moment, as I'm speaking to you, I haven't had a chance to actually swatch. And really, at the moment, I'm feeling a bit <laughs> so I might, and might not even do a swatches video. So even though I've not done a swatches video, I'm not really bothered about how this, uh, how well a palette swatches because at the end of the day, if it performs a lot better on the eyes, then that's what you're looking for. No point having a palette that's going to perform really well in swatches and then when it comes to applying on the eyes, you are struggling. This one blends very, very easily. Uh, it is very buildable. Yes, I did mention earlier that you have to be mindful depending on what kind of shape of eyes you have, that you don't build too much of the color um, or the shade as you're building the, the shade and topping the map, that you have to make sure that you keep blending properly. But that's really something that you ought to be doing anyway. But they do blend really, really easily and they are super, super pigmented. And you've got some really lovely bright colors in there. Obviously, I went with the usual uh, purple that I'm happy with, but that's my personal choice. You've got loads of other shades in there that you can play about with it. So for £10, I'm not going to complain. I think it's really worth going for. And uh, obviously, if you also want to support Tatami, then go ahead. So that is all I have to say. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you haven't already. We are nearly at the end of this month and I was supposed to hit 2000 and I haven't. But to be fair, I've been a bit absent and I'm not going to get into why at the moment. So um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.